Welcome everyone to another tutorial into After Effects and I first want to apologize about the fact that I didn't upload tutorial since one week now, one week or two so I'm sorry about that so in today's video I'm going to show you how I created a scroll animation into After Effects so let's jump into it Hey guys, basically my idea was to create someone scrolling and then an alarm rings, his alarm ring to remind him to go and walk, he stop it and continue to scroll. Okay, so to create the illustrations, I have used just basic shapes like circle, part, and rectangle, also square. So you can see the, the circles, these are parts. So, and then I created the illustration and then import, imported them into After Effects. So, to import the illustration to After Effects, I have used a uh, Overload. Overload is a plugin that helps you to import and, ex and export illustrations into After Effects. It's really simple to use and helps a lot into animation project process. So into After Effects, I've to start the animation. I first started by animating the term on the left hand. So this part actually the term of the left hand this this part I start by missing this it is just rotation and part animation so and then I also tweak it to be the, the graph editor for it to really to create the movement very fine because the thumb is sliding and <coughs> the person is sliding and liking at the same time so the person is sliding and liking so i just said the space we have to create it like for it to to be really lively okay so next animated the complete arm the hand so with a rotation the left hand with a rotation this part animated this part with rotation animation so adds to bring more life to the movement for it not to be really just static so you can see like that then next I animated the phone interface so following the movement of the term animated the phone interface so i put in the interface composition here is a phone interface this is just position animation just position animation and then i've created a mask here it is then i've added to this composition to this layer the screen layer a set made set made to set to use that to use this screen made screen mask layer, layer as a mate as an alpha mate for as an alpha mate of for the content for the screen layer so this is what I is what I did so and then I made it just the position so and also remind you people each and every time when you animate position is is actually good for me it's actually I advise you to split dimension to separate the dimension it gives you a bit it gives you better control of your position animation 
so it's actually it then I also animated the heart so using animating the scale animated the heart like so so animated the heart like so and by animating the scale so then I duplicate the heart three times for the different interface and place it all over the different place I also animated the likes this part but since is it is covered by the storm part so it's difficult to see it but let me show it and uncover it this can be easy. Then this is it here. Yeah. Okay. This is it somewhere here. So when you scroll, you see. Okay. Then when I finish animating the left arm, so I want it. I want to animate the alarm animation so when the alarm rings it's just it slides down it slides down so this is it so just a position animation with a mask it's a mask that I created I set it alpha mid so I created a, I create a shape that I set to alpha mid. This one as alpha mid of, of the alarm layer. So here is the alarm. Okay. Just position animation. Then animated because the alarm movement is is going to be there. Right, right arm animation. So with the right arm position. So I animated the right arm. Also by animating position and rotation. Let me find the layer. So. Here it is. You can see it here. Position. You enter the frame. Slide down. And you see it here. Enter the frame. Slide down. You know, also animated the index. Animated the index. Animated the part. Also animated the rotation. So enter the fit, slide down. So when you slide down, I have parent the these invert alarm alarm options to the alarm. So when you scroll down, it goes with the alarm position and the alarm is parent this one parent to the right arm position for the movement to to go with the, the movement of the of the hand so then I split the layer split the layer so now present to now you have the alarm option so then animated the the I'm positioned to click when it clicks animated animated color the color of you can see it here animated the color of of the alarm options of the alarm option to go from a dark gray to a light gray so you can see it here 
Okay, then okay. Then we have a, a hang animation and missing position, simple position. And then we get back into scrolling. So for it to for it to be a perfect loop, uh the first screen of the interface is the last screen. The first publication post of the interface is also placed at the last position. That is actually what I mean. Yeah, you can see it here. Like you have it, you have it here and here. So for it to create a perfect loop, so then so that when you scroll it now, you start all of up back to the beginning. So this is basically it. Thanks for watching. I will do another tutorial next weekend. This weekend, I'll publish a new tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe and like and share and follow also. So see you. Bye.